Hey data fans, Reid here. Today I'm excited to show you how to add measure driven logic to the Y axis analytics lines for native Power BI visuals. With the recent addition of the DAX logic being added to the constant line settings, we can now provide users the option to dynamically change their Y axis constant lines between things like an average, median, percentile, or percent of max values, giving them an easy ability to further analyze their data. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So what I've done is create a visual where we have an analytics line here on the page that is currently set via the slicer selection to average. And just like the end user would, I have the ability to now actually change between it. If I wanted to show the median instead, I can do that. I can also choose between percentile, inclusive, or exclusive, and watch what happens also to this percentage slicer over on the right if I select either of these. So if I select percentile, you will see that it now changes to a percentile adjustment. That applies to either of these two percentiles here. So I can now move this. So I want to instead just show maybe the 50th percentile. It now moves that line for me. And then if I select percentage of max, what that will do is it'll give me a percentage of max adjustment. Now, if I move this all the way to the top, of course, that's going to equal the max value that you see here. And otherwise, I can scale it down to see how many data points are above 70% of the max or all the way down to any number that I want, want to look at. And all of this magic is possible because of a recent addition with conditional formatting or measure driven logic that can be added to the analytics section. Select the visual and come over here and take a look under this. You'll notice that on the Y axis constant line, I have a second one called the analytics line. And in the values well, there's actually a measure being driven in here. If I clear this, I could just provide a static value, but instead I'm using this F of X button to add a measure that I have in my model into that. Go ahead and go back and put that line back in. And if I click on here and open this up, we'll see that it's based on a calculation called analytics line. So let's go ahead and close this, go to my measures folder and open up the analytics line, zoom in and take a look at this. Now we will see that it's starting based off of a selection harvest. And that is coming from that analytics line selection, which is the slice that I have here coming from a disconnected table that just simply has a row that just has the different names that I would want to select with a slicer that is grabbing the selected value from that, basically just returning the text value from there. So that's the starting point of this calculation in here, where it is grabbing whatever that selection is from that slicer. And then it is just switching between a series of logics. If it's average, it is doing an average X. And this is important because I do need to calculate over whatever is on my axis. And my visual below us is looking at the month and year from the calendar table. So I'm averaging X over those values to grab whatever that average is for that sales amount based off of all the values you see here. Same thing for median, and then the inclusive or exclusive percentiles. And these ones get a bit more advanced because it is doing an X function over the calendar with the sales amount, just like the others. However, it also does need what percentage that is for the percentile. So that is being harvested from a percentage selection slicer, similar to my analytics selection. But instead, that is a table over here where I used from the modeling tab, I used the parameter option, just to show you that, where I created, coming up here, between zero and 1.01 for the minimum and maximum. So basically that's just the percentage holistically. It does need to be 1.01 because if it equals just a solid one, for whatever reason, it won't actually let me go all the way up to 100%. Just to kind of show you that small annoyance with what if parameters, if I was to come back here to the percentage, change that to just one, it'll only let me go up to 99% annoyingly. So as you can see there, that's just one of the reasons that I actually need to include the 0.01. And that is being harvested into that percentage selection. Same thing. It's just grabbing that. And if this slicer was cleared for any reason, it is defaulting to 15%. And then that is being pumped back into my analytics line, where that percentage selection is a dynamic range for that percentile. So I can be able to adjust for those two. And the same thing is happening for my percent of max as well. It is multiplying by that percentage selection. So that's how all three of these can take this as an input and then change the value in here as this moves around. Now there's a small consideration for inclusive and exclusive. If you get too large or small, because the percentile is a calculation over N, if it gets too big, you will be hit with an error that just mentions the fact that it must be in the range of this calculation. So at least it informs you what it is, but otherwise it works about as well as it needs to be. And at least it gives you a clear indication if you go too high or too low, why that is not actually returning the value you want. And it very clearly at least states that there is an unsupported percentile that's being returned in there. So easy enough to fix if you just put it back to a normal percentile. And you might also notice the slicer header does change. If I select average or median, it's not applicable. This does not affect anything. So those two are going into a measure that is telling this slicer to change depending on my selection. 
The only three that will have a title will be these, where percentile adjustment for those two, and then percentage of max adjustment for this one. And that is coming from my slicer title over here. If I just open that up, very similar logic being done. If this is being selected from that slicer selection, percentile adjustment for either of those two, and then percentage of max adjustment for that slicer header. And that setting can be found. If we come to the slicer, come over to the format painter, and go to the header. That title text is also a measure that's being populated into here. So overall, it's really nice to be able to give the users the ability to toggle between these, and especially that third kind of addition where not only can they choose the selection, but they can also even adjust these three metrics. So a lot of degrees of freedom when it comes to doing analysis on this data now. And for this demo, I only covered about five different scenarios of things you could put in your selection. If you have other ideas of other types of selections that you can include into here for some other X functions that can return some other type of static number that can be used as a constant line, feel free to drop that in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Now, if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. Also, feel free to show your support by becoming a channel member. Last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below. So until next time.